so to Biden, talk about funny. <laughs> it, this, this is the president of the United States of America. As you know, he withheld documents, uh, top secret documents, just like Trump, but he withheld them and, and had them um, in, in, on his premises. Uh, he, he didn't at least engage in obstruction of justice when they came to take them away. He didn't hide them. He cooperated. But, uh, but he, uh, <laughs> he, he had these documents, and not only did he have the documents, he read them aloud to, uh, to people without classified, um, uh, without the right classification. He read them aloud to somebody writing his, I guess, biography or, or writing stuff. He wanted to show that he was right and that Obama had been wrong with regard to Afghanistan. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, the report from the Independent Council is, is, is filled with, wow, I mean, filled with this guy's president of the United States. Really? Are you guys serious? Uh, this, is, uh, this is a segment I'm going to read to you. <laughs> uh, he writes, in his interview with our office, Mr. Biden's memory was worse. He did not remember when he was vice president, forgetting on the first day of the interview when his term ended, uh, and forgetting on the second day of the interview when his turn began. He did not remember even within several years when his son Bo died, and his memory appeared hazy when describing the Afghanistan debate, this is the debate with Obama, that was once so important to him. Among other things, he mistakenly said that he had, quote, had a, a real difference, unquote, of opinion, with General Carl Eichenberg, Barry, Eichenberry, when in fact, Eichenberry was an ally who Mr. Biden cited approvingly in his Thanksgiving memo to President Biden. So uh, Biden couldn't remember stuff, stuff that you would think is pretty straightforward and pretty obvious. Uh, and um, yeah. <sighs> uh, the memo goes on to say why, why we're not prosecuting him. Why, why, why do we not recommend that he be brought to trial? <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I can't, this is hysterical, right? This is why they don't recommend that he be held uh, you know, criminally liable and put in front of a jury trial uh, with regard to this. He says, quote, this is, this is the, <laughs> these are lawyers. These are, this is the independent counsel. Quote, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during an interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. <laughs> so they, they probably wouldn't get a conviction because the guy, you know, he's kind of nice. He's kind of sympathetic. He's well-meaning. He doesn't have, but he's really clueless. President of the United States, let me remind you, not just some trivial second, you know, character. They uh, later in the memo describe uh, Biden as having, quote, diminished faculties in advanced age. <sighs> I mean, this is who the Democrats are putting up. This is who is the who is the 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 representative for the Democratic Party, for President of the United States. Uh, I mean, this is insanity, insanity. I mean, and, and, and this just reflects either Biden is delusional, which is quite possible given his, his, given, given his diminished faculties, or he is unbelievably arrogant and believes that it's okay somehow, given his diminished faculties, to be president of the United States. I mean, this is truly absurd that somebody in the state could be president of the United States, is, not could be, is currently, never mind another four years, president of the United States. Uh, Biden was offended by all this, uh, so he, he immediately uh, called the press conference, uh, declaring that he was not uh, diminished, that that he had, he had a great memory, he had a perfect memory. Within a few sentences of declaring his memory fantastic, he uh, confused 
the uh, president of Egypt, El Sisi, uh, with the president of Mexico, Obagdo, and, and, and confused the two. Um, God, there should be, uh, there should be a age restriction on presidents. It should be probably something like 75. Uh, you know, presidents, presidents should be able to not only have their full cognitive abilities with them, but they should be able to multitask. They should be able to be thinking about multiple things at the same time. They are lots of things going on in the case let's say of a war it, it, it's complex there's a lot going on you're going to get conflicting advice from conflicting generals and so on uh, in terms of foreign policy in terms of you, you need to remember who you spoke to and who you told what in terms of domestic policy you have to handle congress you have to deal with them you have to do it all at the same time war foreign policy domestic policy congress economy all of that you have to be able to juggle this guy is not capable of doing that and uh, you know, I know you won't like this, but neither is Trump. They're both too old, and they were never that smart to begin with. So, uh, I mean, Biden was not exactly sharp when he was young. I'd like to see our presidents be in their 50s. I mean, I think that's peak performance. It's, it's you got peak energy, you got peak mental acuity, you've got enough of, of, of the worldly experience Enough of worldly experience. Oh, Trump is a disaster. Who is he confusing the other day? Oh, yeah, Nikki Haley with, with Nancy Pelosi. I mean, it, Trump is, is completely, he bamboozles you with his energy and his confidence. But his mind is fried. Now, he never had a mind to begin with, right? Uh, uh, I don't think he's, he's smarter. I, I, don't think he's, I don't think he's smart at all. Um, and, and he's losing it. And, and again, four more years, right? In, in four more years, he'll be over 80. I'm 62, and, you know, I'm, I'm all together and everything, but you notice this. Uh, my memory's not as good as it was 10 years ago. It's just not. So uh, I think 50s, right? 50s, you've got enough life experience. You've got still youthful energy, and your mind is, is fully functioning, and it can multitask, and it can handle multiple things. Your memory is intact. That's Presidents should be in their 50s, and, and they should not be... God, they should not be uh, in their 80s, not even for a portion of their presidency. That could be the portion in which important stuff happens. Anyway, I, I, you know, what do you, what do you do with this situation that we're, we're going to have? You have to choose between uh, Trump and Biden. It is, it is an absurdity that America is in this situation, is putting in this situation, can could be in this situation. It is, it is just a, 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 an insane, uh, it, it says so much about our political culture. It says so much about our philosophical culture uh, that this is, uh, that this is a, a possibility.